All right. Let u be the expression under the square root. So that means du over dx is 1. So that means du is dx. Okay, that's nice. We don't have to introduce any fractions or anything in there. Now, I am going to go ahead and solve this because I know I'm going to have to. x would be u minus 4. So, let's do some substitution. So, we've got 2 times. I'm going to go ahead and replace my x with u minus 4. All right. And... I'm going to, and you don't have to do all of this in the single step that I'm doing right here. I'm just trying to save time and space. Okay. We good with that? Because, okay, the top, I replaced my x with u minus 4. The bottom, what was under the square root, was my u. I can't differentiate, anti-differentiate with a denominator, so I went ahead and moved it to the numerator. So it's u to the negative one half. Are we good? Let's keep going. So we've got 2u minus 8 plus 1, so 2u minus 7. Is that numerator? We need to distribute that u to the negative one half. This is another reason, guys, why notation is so important. I know y'all hate writing the integral and the du, but especially on problems like this, when um, you have to do so much intermediate work, like with those absolute value problems, you tend to think once you get that simplified, you, you've done what you've got to do. If you keep your uh, symbols in there, then you know I'm not done. I still have to take the anti on this. I still have to take the antiderivative of this. So I know it takes a little bit more time, but it will prevent you, because I can about guarantee you that will be an answer choice. With you plugged in, that will be an answer choice. I promise you. Okay, so uh, let's keep going. We haven't anti-differentiated yet. So when I do that, we've got 2 times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. Minus 7 times 1 half u to the 1 half plus c. So that would be 4 times x plus 4 to the 3 over 2 all over 3 minus 7 times x plus 4 to the one half over two plus c. Now, they might. What? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. My bad. You're correct. Forgot to flip it. Okay. So, they might, since they may factor out um, a square root of x plus 4. Okay? If they do that, that's going to leave you with 4 thirds times uh, x plus 4 minus 14. Okay, they may take out an x plus 4 to the 1 half. When they do that, you do 3 halves minus 1 half, so that leaves you with 1 x plus 4. And then when you take that out there, you're just left with the negative 14. I would not be surprised if they did that. So just keep that in the back of your mind that your answer choices may look a little strange. So 16 thirds minus, what's that, 42 over 3? Yeah, 16 minus 42, negative 26 over 3. 
that that might be the answer. Okay, that might be the answer. Just keep that in the back of your mind. They like to factor out stuff like that. Okay. And we we've done stuff like that before. Remember, well, uh, it it more likely happened when it was like an eight one half and one half power. Remember doing those? They they may do it here. Okay, they may do it here. Did I crunch those numbers right? I'm not feeling too confident about that. Four thirds times four minus fourteen. Okay, I did do it. Right. Okay. Do I need to slow down with that for a second? Can y'all stop working on your view sheet for a second and look at what I just said over here? Does that make absolute sense? 